Kiki, the sleepy baby. She's been napping here for a good chunk of the stream. The stream is now over. I pressed a bunch of buttons. I still have a lot left to do, you guys. I have a fat stack here that didn't get pressed because I printed off so many. And I will probably need just as many as I did in today's stream and these ones just to fill my cases. And then I haven't even started on sets yet. And I have four days, including today, to work on this. But I also need to work on my video for Saturday. And I need to prep for my Copic marker panel and do a few new signs for convention merch. It's going to be painful, Kiki. It's going to be painful getting it all done in time. Oh, she's so tired. Oh, she's so tired. Oh, yeah, I may have made this. <laughs> it's Kiki's fur. <laughs> I'll have packs of two, one Midna, one Kiki. Sell them for $2 a set. Or, sorry, I meant to say $5 a set. There would be people who would actually buy it. <laughs> Honestly, I probably would if there were pets I watched a lot online. I'd be like, yeah, I'll have a button of their fur. As long as they obtain it in a humane manner, such as petting the babies. See, look, I can just pet her and get a whole bunch. Oh yeah. Look at all this baby fur. That's enough for a button right there. <laughs> She's like, mommy, don't sell my body. Oh yeah, another thing I have to do is dye my hair, which I'm doing today. I haven't even showered yet because I was running low on time. Plus, I knew that I would be dyeing my hair. So I was like, I'm going to be showering two more times today so why shower in the morning why make it three times because i'll need to do the bleach rinse it and then do the color then rinse it i prefer just to get in the shower to get a good rinse instead of trying to rinse it in the kitchen sink or something Woo! okay why did i do that i don't want greasy hair on my face while i eat lunch i might also finish pressing this stack of buttons before i start working on my art video and then i can put them all away and that'll be good I finished pressing the rest except for a few that I accidentally missed and my quantities are way off on certain things I don't even have enough um, Katara to fill the container I'm a little bit short on Asami and Cora doesn't even fill the container either then I have so many excess like the twins which I knew I needed the most of but there's just such an excessive amount even these, I didn't think I printed off this many of these. I'll probably need all those because this is one of my most popular buttons, but still. Then these ones I haven't put away because they go in a different container, but this one's technically not quite done. I think I'll print off the ones I need now and make them so I can get it all put away and good to go until tomorrow. My order from Vista Print just arrived. So I got some magnetic business cards. They're not meant to be business cards. They're just meant to be cute little magnets. I showed up what I ordered in a previous vlog, but yeah, there's some Mr. Bun Bun. I also ordered some of Bubbly. These actually look really nice. They're just super thin little magnets, but they're cute. <laughs> then there's also Vera and Jelly Dreams. I just got four designs as magnets because I wanted to see what they're like. And a lot of designs don't fit so well on this because it's so tall and narrow. Then there are the postcards, which I got as freebies for my panels. I don't know which panel I'm going to give these out at. Initially, I was thinking the marker demo, but the marker demo is at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. So I'm like, uh, I don't know if people are going to come to that. These are really nice. I got the premium thickness, and yeah, that is a very nice thickness. It was $8 and something cents for 50 of them. I thought it'd be nice to sign them and hand them out. I think I will do this for the marker coloring panel. And then I got one more item. I got five mouse pads. I don't know if I want to rip them open. 
I mean, I guess, because there has to be at least one on display. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice to just keep them in this packaging. Oh, that's two in one bag. Wait, what? Oh, I see, they package them two, two, and one. <laughs> These look okay. The color is not as vibrant as the postcard prints, but it is on fabric, I guess. You can see it's a little bit lighter, but still cute because the original coloring is pretty pastel. I only got five of these because they're kind of expensive and I don't know if people even want mouse pads. I need to hurry up and make the last of these buttons so I can start dyeing my hair. Round one is in progress, bleaching my roots. And while I was dyeing my hair, I watched episode one of My Hero. Episode two is just starting right now. Okay, it's now the next morning. Here's how my hair turned out. Super vibrant, which I expected, but yeah. I went to bed with wet hair and this is how it turned out and I'm actually digging it. I did this about a week ago and it was the same thing where I woke up with really shiny hair. It's probably extra shiny now because I just dyed it so it was like a deep conditioning treatment, but like I said, just a week ago, I went to sleep with wet hair and it was just really smooth and shiny when I woke up. I mean, you never really know what you're gonna get and sometimes it gets a little too cray. Usually I hate going to bed with wet hair and I'll always shower in the morning, but I like this. This lipstick though, well, it's just like really lightly dabbed onto my lips just to give a bit of tint. It does not really go with the hair. Lick it off. This eyelid keeps sticking up here. Like the part with the eyeliner just goes, sticks. I can feel it. Anyway. Yeah, it's just about 10 o'clock. I have my stream, working on buttons as usual. I'm just gonna make some coffee. Maybe make some egg and toast. Do I have time for that? Maybe. The stream starts in seven minutes, but maybe I can do it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> also, the lid for the K-cup is hella broken, but it still works. I still have the missing piece, so I might try super gluing it on one of these days. What I like about this is I can just create a little boop and it's like a little pore spout. That's what it looks like with the broken top, but it works, it works. Did you eat all the way from me now? Or did you say some pretty little sister? I like how we refer to Kiki as a little sister. Well, I mean, she's tiny. She's smaller. <laughs> Angle this away. Christian's about to walk by naked. Using one of our leftover camping plates. These might be slowly, slightly overcooked. What a little turd. Just stretching right out. Up, up to the cutter. Me! Just back. verify some of the things that he says, but considering everything Bush has done thus far and that this gentleman shows a picture from Kickstarter, I'm very inclined to at least give him the benefit of the doubt. Just, you know, getting some info on all the Butch Hartman drama because I've kind of been out of the loop. I know it's been going on, but I haven't really known any of the details. Look how much fur I'm getting off you with this regular comb. Well, it's not really regular. It's a back comb. If you donated to this Kickstarter and you believe you were scammed by not knowing the full truth behind Butch's motivation, this works even better than the kitty brush I got and kitty comb. Plus, a lot of people were telling me those de shedding tools actually cut fur. And I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm sure it's not too bad. And then one of my friends was like, oh, I brushed my cat with one of those de shedding tools all the time and gave them a bald spot. And I was like, no, okay. Regular comb it is for you, boo boo. This seems to be really effective, though. I give her the hair to play with in the meantime. Just don't swallow any of it, okay? 
the whole point of brushing you. One, less hair all over the house, but two, so you don't get a bunch of hairballs. If he has such an amazing quirk, how come he didn't snag any points all day? Enjoying this pencil, but I didn't bring it today. Or it fell out of my pocket. Why are you standing on one? All I have is the Black Wing 602. This is orange, is the new black, by the way. That's right, Kiki. I'm swapping you out for an orange cat because orange is the new black. No, it's not. Look all this fur on you. I just brushed you and pet you. How much to get rid of all this excess fur? And there's a whole bunch more. It never ends. Hey guys, it is Thursday morning. Annie Revo is tomorrow. I'm freaking out. Keep you sniffing my breakfast. Does it smell nice? Today is pretty much just gonna be a button pressing stream because I, I have this stack of buttons to finish just for my open stock. And then I need to do as many sets as I possibly can. And I'm starting to think I'm gonna end up having to work on some at the con. I will have Christian with me, so Luckily, he can take transactions and things, but there's only so much he can do. Like, he can't sign the prints for me, and he can't get photos with people for me. I mean, he can, but <laughs> I'm assuming people would want me in the photo, too. Maybe not. Maybe they're just really big Christian fans. They're like, screw Bailey. We're not here for you. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I would update on that because I plan on making this an extended stream, so this vlog is going to be a lot of probably button-pressing clips and... Stream clips. Kiki, that is not the place to sit. How about you come over here? Okay, I don't want to knock this over. Usually I use short glasses when I'm doing stuff on this side of the desk, but I'm running out of mugs. They're all dirty. Yeah, go over there, boo-boo. Here, I'll move my granola there. There, how's that? Isn't that nice? I can move this, I guess, because it's empty. Almost. I need to refill it. Okay, let's turn the music back on. Boop! Got a video game playlist going. Okay, it's 5 p.m. I've been forgetting to vlog. Got a new coffee. Um, I finished filling all the containers and I'm now working on sets. This is all the overflow for buttons, woo. Dirty floor, dirty floor. These are the sets I've done so far. It's like nothing <laughs> compared to what I brought to Anime North and the conventions tomorrow, so I don't know how much I'll get done. There's catnip everywhere, so. If you buy one of these, maybe your cat will really like it. <laughs> I have 12 cute foods, 12 Art of Bailey J. That's probably not enough for those, but it's where I'm starting. I have three other sets to do. There's Evolution, Sailor Moon, and Animal Crossing. And those will be the most popular out of all the sets. So I need to do more than 12 for those ones if I have time. I had like 56, 57. Evolution ones last time. I forget what it was. And those sold out by day two. I'm like halfway through day two or something like that. But this is not gonna be as big as Anime North. But still, I still need lots. I keep forgetting to vlog. I need to get some sick button making shots. It's 8 49. I'm still streaming. Christian went out and got me chips and beef jerky. Yeah. I don't know why I'm using the chopsticks for this. By chopsticks I mean pencils. I just don't want to get the chip stuff all over my hands. Also check out this sick trick. Learned it from my friends. It turns your bag of chips into a bowl and it stands up and then you have to reach deep inside and you can make it shorter as you go. Yeah. Yeah boy. It's so sad without the music going. I pause it usually when I vlog and I'm like, oh, it's so quiet and sad. So I'm working on Evolution sets. I still have to do Sailor Moon as well. I'm trying to do 24 of each. Maybe like 20 Sailor Moon, 24 of these. And that might be enough for Friday. For these other ones, I've just got 12, 12, and 20. So I'm a little worried. I was also hoping to be in bed by midnight tonight. 
so I could try to get eight hours of sleep, but that's not gonna happen. I have these sets to make, which is like bare minimum, and I need to make some new signs for my table and print those out, so yay. I could just stay up all night. I mean, I only slept four hours last night, but that's four hours over two nights. That's probably enough. Oh my God, I'm like lining up the vlog camera. It's just Harambe looking directly into the camera. So it's 12.45, I'm finally headed to bed. I just ended the stream. It went over 14 hours. <laughs> I printed off more headers, but I'm probably not gonna need this many. Ideally, I would make all those into button sets, but eh. I'm running out of foam. This is all I have left for foamies, and so I am running out. I might have to consider not doing the sets in the future, but they're just so cute. <laughs> They're a lot of work though. Filling up the button cases is time consuming, but not too bad. Well, cases plus the extras that I have down in the box. Sets, I might have to give up the dream. <laughs> Even though I thought it'd be really cool to have a set where it's the magic conch shell in the middle, and then the eight surrounding buttons are all speech bubbles, and it's different responses of the conch shell. I think that'd be hilarious. You could even flip the buttons upside down, scramble them, and ask the conch a question, and flip one over. I don't know, it's kind of useless, but it's cute and fun. Outsourcing the button making would make things a lot easier. It saved me so much time, but it also make the buttons so much more expensive. I'd be looking at like probably at least 40 cents a button and I have so many different designs too. It's not like, oh, it's 3,000 of the same design. No, it's like, oh, it's three to 4,000 buttons and there's 20 of this design, 20 of that one, 30 of this design like low quantities for each design. And I just like making buttons, but it's a lot. Even when I try to stay ahead of the game and I'm like, okay, I'll press buttons weekly on Wednesdays. Like Wednesdays are con prep streams. I'll make a new button art, I'll press buttons. It's not enough. Like let's say my next con isn't until like May of next year. Start making buttons now. <laughs> the problem is I don't know if I'm gonna have another convention. Like they're all really competitive nowadays and I would like to get into more conventions next year, but will I? Who knows? I just know that once this weekend is over, it's gonna be a huge sigh of relief. I'll still have lots of stuff to do because I have a collab in the works where I have to go buy stuff and I have not gone out to purchase that stuff yet. I told the person I wouldn't do it till after the convention. And then there's the charity stream slash 1 million subscriber 24 hour live stream. So I need to prep a lot of stuff for that. And I wanna start posting extra videos on my art channel. So it's not gonna be that. Like there's a few things I gotta get out of the way first before it kind of levels off. Although the, the upload schedule is not something that's gonna just be temporary, but a lot of that other stuff is just temporary. But even so, as soon as the convention's over, I'm just gonna be like, breathe. <laughs> I can clean this darn house, it's so messy. I don't even know when I'm gonna edit this vlog. I still have other vlog footage from previous days that I haven't edited yet. And it's like, well, once, I've, once I'm at the convention, I don't wanna upload all this really old footage. I'm gonna wanna upload the convention footage. <laughs> I'll just upload it all in back-to-back -back days or something till I'm caught up. Anyway, I really should stop vlogging and go wash up for bed. Oh, did I even show the Copic markers on the vlog? <laughs> I don't think I did. Did I? I got three of these 36 Copic sketch sets for the giveaway. I ordered these from Delta Art Supplies, it, or El Supply or Supplies? One of the two. It's located in Edmonton and they had really great prices on these marker sets. So I got some of those for the giveaway. Really, I just need Copic multi for the giveaway and then the rest is pretty much making stuff. 
I'm now thinking I should probably set aside some button sets for that now because I'm running low on buttons. Yeah. I'm gonna grab three of each. I don't have the Sailor Moon ones yet, but wow, this is really gonna dig into my stock because I only have 12 of each of these. But it's good if I set it aside now in case I run out of button parts. That's also sad because I was going to make some Waluigi buttons to hand out for free for TwitchCon. I guess I could just order a small batch of buttons. Last time I ordered 5,000. <laughs> I could order maybe like 1,000 until I secure another convention. But for the sake of the giveaway, I need these set aside now. Oh, also, I texted Lulu's owner today. I feel bad because he doesn't know me. I don't know him. I don't want to pester him. And I already emailed or texted him not this past Sunday, but the one before. So by the time you're watching this, like two weeks ago. <laughs> wow, has it been that long? Anyway, he said he hadn't seen Lulu. And so yeah, I texted him again today. He still hasn't found Lulu. And I haven't seen Lulu come by. So I'm like, either he moved on to another area or he just doesn't come to my house anymore. Maybe someone took him in or maybe he got hit by a car or something and died. Hopefully not. But his owner said he got a cage, like a trap or something. Or he was waiting to get one or i forget how he worded it he was about to get one or already has it and then he still has food and water and stuff out for lulu but yeah i think that's the last i'll ask him about it and maybe he will update me in the future maybe he won't he doesn't have to so who knows what's going on with the lulu okay now i'm ending it for real <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next vlog <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>